Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I'm Jeremiah and I like to think of myself as an indoor farmer. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to grow onions indoors from onions that you already have in the house. So basically how I run my systems is I have a hydroponic system. Um, so I grow everything hydroponically and I, as time goes on, I'll show you how to, how to do everything. But um, I was looking on the internet and I couldn't find any information about how to start onions or certain vegetables in a hydroponic system. So a lot of people, they have greenhouses, they have outdoor gardens, but for you growers who like to keep everything organic, but you know, pest free um, and just have everything in abundance, this is for you. So I'm gonna teach you how to successfully get an onion from another onion without wasting any kind of food so here we go okay guys so what you want to do is here's an onion that I that I cut already this is the part that grows out of the ground so what happens in an onions life is it starts out um, as a as a shoot and then as it's nearing the end of its life it starts investing all of its energy into its bulb which is the actual onion so what you want to do to start this off is you want to get a clean knife and the general rule about cloning or any kind of plant procedures when you have to cut into it make sure your knife is clean um, even though this part right here is going to get dirty over time it's going to look kind of rancid that's okay but that's just the process of rejuvenation and that's the process of um, of everything going forward so make sure you have a nice clean knife it doesn't have to be sterile but you know if you want to be that meticulous about it it can be sterile a lot of times in hydroponics, when you want to clone a plant, um, you can buy scalpels from your hydroponic store that you can cut your plants and then put into your cloner or into your, your rooting mix. So this right here is the part where the roots come out. And you, as you can see, they're kind of dry and um, I've taken off the, the brown part. So basically when you harvest onions, um, they're always white. They look like this until you you know actually cure them and how they cure it is you let them sit out and just dry and then this portions right here they dry off and then that allows you to be able to store the onion for months at a time so a lot what a lot of people like to do is they like to store onions uh, for the winter if they're farmers uh, but in your case and or at least my case is i just like to have onions around so the fresher the onion the longer the storage so you don't know how long the actual onion in the store has been in storage so that's a lot of times when you get onions they go bad within a few weeks or even a month but it also depends on how you store it and we'll also cover this on our website and here in our series so when you cut this you want to make sure that you cut off at least maybe like an inch um, and as you can see that saves a lot of I mean that's a lot of onions still left over um, so basically after you do this um, it depends if you have rooting compound or not um, if you don't that's fine but a lot of people what they do they stick the top of this in the in the water and here let me show you real quick so I have a shot glass full of water and this is what they want to do is they want to put the root inside there and just let it sit and what they do they let that sit and the window seal that way sun can get to the top and then water can get down here that way the photosynthesis process starts but if you have a cloner um, I don't know how long you've been doing hydroponics but um, everybody should have a cloner because those things save lives so uh, basically what you want to do is take that and put it in your window seal here let me open up my window and then you want to take this and set it in the window seal Kind of like that. I don't have very much of a window seal, so I mean, it's decent outside right now. Right now, it's about 60 degrees. But what you want is the sun or a light to hit the top of that and water in the bottom so the sun can activate the whole plant itself and it grow roots. So, here's the thing. All right. So, when do you want to transplant this into its own growing medium? Well, at the bottom of this, there should be white sprouts coming out. Now make sure that, like I said before, take most of the brown stuff off because it will rot. Um, and that's what I've read so far. Um, so once these have white sprouts coming out and maybe 
uh, some sprouts coming up top here, coming out, that's when the start. So let me go ahead and show you how I do it in the cloner. And in other episodes, I'm going to show you the progression of this. And um, I'm going to show you how to do carrots, potatoes, and garlic, and other things too. So let's take this downstairs and put it in the cloner. Okay, so I'm sorry that this is my first video, so I'm not really dressed very nice. But I wanted to make sure that everybody has access because during this time, it's March to no, it's April 1st, 2020, and there's a pandemic going on right now, and everybody has to stay at home. So I want to make sure anybody who doesn't have access to food, they can start actually growing food from the food that they buy. Um, so this is my setup right here. In fact, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you in, a, in another video. But um, I want to show you um, how to take this, and I'm going to show you how to put it in the cloner, and we'll follow it throughout other videos. All right, guys. So this is my cloner, and this is an easy clone. And it, I want to say this is a 32 top. So you can put plenty of plants in here. So basically, you'll want to put, let's see here, let's see if I can open this up. So you see how this works? It keeps water in there, just like you would if you had it in a shot glass, and it sprays it all over the top, okay? So basically, I'm gonna take this one out right here, and I don't know if you can see the water that's coming out, but the water's always gonna have contact of this portion right here. And all I'm going to do is just set that down inside there. And that's going to sit there. And I'm going to put a light over this. A little um, grow light. Which you can use for cutlings, seedlings, or whatever. So it's not intense. But it's not too dim. So basically what I'm going to do as well. Is I'm going to add some cloner to this. I'm just going to dip this in some cloner. And I have some of this Clonex stuff I had left over. Um, this bottle right here was $23.95, but it lasts a long time, <clears throat> depending on how many clones that you do, um, or how many, you know, so this would be considered a clone. So you're going to be cloning this plant, and then we're going to grow a whole new onion from this plant as well. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and put some of this Clonex on the, here's, here's the Clonex. Uh, I put some of this Clonex on the onion itself. Now, one of the good things about this uh, cloner uh, and how it how it helps it grow roots and become successful is that it has um, a lot of stuff in here that will encourage the roots to grow. So what we're going to do here is since this is day one and this is plant one of the onion and this is what it looks like after you put it in there. Here I'll move it over here to this. Uh, that's not a very good. There we go. So basically you don't put a lot on there just enough to cover everything. And give it a few seconds for it to you know soak in a little bit and we're gonna set it right up here and we're gonna put it right in there just like that so that's plant one as you can see it's pretty flush right so over time and we'll give it um we'll give it a week well actually we'll check this every single day so basically um, I'll check this every single day and to see if there's any fruit or any fruits coming along. Okay guys, so this is day number two. So two days has went by since uh, we last saw the video of this onion. So, so far what we have here is the onion has become um, more dry on top and the center is getting a little bit more puffy. I don't know if you can see that. And it's become a little bit darker. And let's lift it up. And we have new sprouts or new uh, root sprouts coming up which means that this is working now here's another red onion that we've done and you can tell that the middles of these are getting uh, ready to start blooming and then on this one you can see you can kind of see right here my thumbs at a little sprout coming up there and these roots just becoming rejuvenated so we're going to set this back down inside of here because, as you can see, it's spraying like crazy. So, guys, um, if you can afford an easy cloner, I suggest that you buy one because these things are so good. It cuts down the time in, in rooting and cloning process. And uh, we'll cover the 
um, celery, uh, the, what is this? Gosh, I forgot. Garlic, the carrots, you see the carrots, and the potatoes in the, in other episodes. But, as far as, the, as, far as these onions, it's to successfully clone this, this isn't getting all nasty like uh, other videos that I saw when they just kept it in water. Uh, this is drying out really nice and keeping a little bit moist around the, you know, around the inside part. And the same for this one. You see how it's kind of like dried out and whatnot. So I can assume that maybe we'll have four for onion plants with this one. And this one only has one because it only has one middle. But guys, uh, we'll check it out here in a few more days and see where it goes. Wait, do I see water spraying somewhere? Probably not. So anyways, guys, this is an easy cloner setup. And uh, I'll cover another video on how to uh, do that. So. See you here in a bit. Alright guys, so this is day three. As you can see here, the middle is protruding out a little bit more. It's a little bit more dry around this, this area right here. And let's pick it up in this sea. Oh wow. So what we have here is a bunch of new sproutings on day three. Now that is amazing. Now I want you guys to, to know that if you were to put this into a, um, a glass of water, they say you probably won't see sproutings like, or uh, rooting like that until around day 10. So keep in mind guys, this is day three. It's not nasty looking. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it's clean. There's no mold. I've seen videos where there's mold on this, on, on the top of these, and they, they say it gets pretty nasty up here. But, unfortunately, that looks pretty nice. I think so. It's a little bit dried out, but this middle's coming up really nicely. All right, guys, since this is day three, and this onion is showing a lot of progress. Here, we'll look at it again. You see those roots? Wow. This is day three, keep in mind. All these roots are coming out for this onion. We're gonna set it back down in here. So I want you guys to, to know something. This cloner does not have any fertilizer in it. It's just plain tap water. I didn't do anything special to it. So all I did was I filled it up with tap water and I let it sit and I put a heater in here to, to heat up the water. And the temperature of the heater is set to, um, what is it, about 62 degrees, right? So if it gets any, any uh, lower than 62 degrees, it heats up this water for me. And it evaporated the, um, the chlorine that was in the tap water. So it's just plain water inside here. So you don't have to uh, worry about any kind of nutrients right now. And simply what you saw in this video is all you have to do and you're going to have an onion going on just like this now the next video series is going to be the transplant from here from the cloner this onion and hopefully this one too this one's um uh not having any new sprouting so this may take a little longer but this one right here yellow onions if you do it in the easy clone way um, it's, it sprouts really fast. So the next step is we're going to create another series of videos to transplant it from the cloner over here to the garden. So yeah, the, the garden is a little bit of a mess right now. As you see, I just there's a bunch of uh, bushings. I just added this whole row of buckets and I have butter crunch lettuce and romaine lettuce in, in these. So of course these two right here are butter crunch lettuce. That's romaine lettuce. I started all these from seeds, but uh, when we do the next video for the onions, we're gonna add another row through here and possibly another row behind the tomatoes and the cucumbers. So, you know, guys, it's very important that you like and subscribe um, this video and, and follow us because if you don't follow us, nobody else will be able to find us. Um, now, my history in hydroponics is is long and I know how to grow. I really 
don't like GMOs. I really don't like pesticides. And I figured that if I can just use this equipment that I have and just grow my own stuff, I think I might be able to, you know, become self-sustaining. And I believe so. You guys are in luck. Um, we're going to learn this together. So what better way to, to grow with the indoor farmer like myself? So guys, again, my name is Jeremiah and you can check out everything that we have on itswilson.com. Please like and subscribe this. That way other people can find this. Share this video um, with your friends and uh, let's get some, some plants growing because let's, let's, let's be honest with you. Anybody can do this. Anybody can grow and anybody can reap the, the benefits from it. So, again, I have lettuce right here. I have broccoli right there. Kale. Um, that right there is green beans, the third one. Two, two buckets of strawberries. This would help you out in the long run, especially if you have kids. Um, and especially if you live with parents or, or if you're an, you know, an older person, this is the easy way to make sure that you have what you need. Non-GMO foods, non-pesticide foods, clean water clean food so let's get this going guys everything i bought here is all organic nothing uh was regular shelf this is all organic the onions the garlic the um, i think the garlic was i'm not sure that came in a regular garlic thing but the um, the green onions were in the organic aisle the um, what are these Oh my gosh, brain fart. Anyways, carrots and celery. Uh, potatoes, I have no clue. But, you know, all this right here was started from seed. So there's no GMOs. These are all heirlooms. So I'm pretty excited about this. Guys, like and follow, subscribe. Um, and let's go on this journey together. And hopefully uh, over the next few months, um, we'll see the progress that this room has had, what this cloner has had. And we will celebrate together with your harvest and ours. So go ahead and uh, comment if you have any questions, and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, get on the website, itswilson.com. Check out more videos. Uh, comment on there. That's um, the best way to get a hold of me. So, guys, um, here we go. We've successfully uh, cloned an onion. The roots are growing, and we're going to transplant that next here in a couple more days. So uh, get ready for the next video series. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend.